son of a biscuit eating bull. Whoa! What's with all the name calling? It's just bank statements. Hey, it's your buddy, it's your mortgage guy, Jamie Villizer here. The most ongoing and turbulent issue in the processing of a mortgage today is the client's bank statements. What I want to do over the next couple of minutes is talk to you about the five most common things that we need to discuss when talking about your bank statements to fulfill the asset piece of your mortgage application. Do you head cootie queen? Number one, get rid of that whiteout wheel and no sharpies. A lot of our clients, for some reason, I mean, we have everything on you, all of a sudden feel the need to try to withhold some information from us and like to break out the little whiteout wheel or the Sharpie pen on some of the information on a bank statement. Can't take it. We need to see the full statement with no alterations. So dump that whiteout wheel and dump that Sharpie. Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? Number two, I need all the pages. And I know this sounds ridiculous. But when you look at a bank statement, you got one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four. They're two-sided, and usually the back side is kind of generic. It's like a ledger to help you balance your checkbook or some information on how to do whatever. Believe it or not, I need those too. One of four, two of four, three of four, four of four. No matter how generic the information is, no matter how irritating it is. Number three. If you're working online, you got to print us the e-statements. We can't take the printer-friendly version. Problem with those is they usually don't have your full name. They will not have your account number. And a lot of the stuff, the transactions and everything, is very abbreviated. It just doesn't work for us. But 99.9% .9 of the banks online give you the option to print something called e-statement. And that's going to look like the traditional statements you would receive in the mail. Those are the ones we need for mortgage processing. Stinky McStink face! Number four, and if printing off the e-statements doesn't happen, this is the next thing you got to do. You got to go down to the bank, you got to talk to a teller or some type of customer service rep and get your statements printed out. Now, if they do that for you, and once again, no reason for name calling, we're going to need you to have the bank representative stamp and sign each individual page of every one of those statements. If they print off 25 pages, we need 25 stamps and 25 signatures. I didn't make the rules, I'm just playing within them to get you alone. Well, you slime-eating dogs, you scum-sucking pigs, you sons of a motherless goat! Number five, and this is a huge source of headaches, any non-payroll deposit. If you have any money going into your account that isn't from your employer, or a steady stream of income that you've already reported on your mortgage application, guess what? We gotta talk about it. So believe it or not, you selling your kid's bike at a garage sale and taking a check, that could come up during the mortgage process. I know it's a pain. You one ugly motherfucker. Once again, stop with the name calling. So that's the long and short of bank statements and mortgage processing today. And hey, look on the bright side. When you're watching NCIS or Law & Order and you hear them talk about forensic accounting, at least now you got an idea what that feels like. This is Jamie Millizer, saving you jack on your shack.